Hi, Slick. Thanks for stopping by. Anything for my favorite customer. I've called you here to let you know in person. I am dropping Crisco as my network vendor. But you cannot do that. We are almighty Crisco. That attitude is one of the many reasons I am saying you're out of here. Listen, honey, I hate to get ugly but here's the honest truth. People get fired for dropping Crisco. Slick, you self-absorbed jackass. I own this company. Really? Not having the first clue about my business is another reason I am dropping you like a bad habit. What do you plan to do? I have decided to go with a Jeepon solution. What? Jeepon? That is a four-letter word. You just broke my Crisco Crystal 2012 Best Customer Award. No worries. We give those to everybody. Jeepon? Why on earth would you go with that? It costs less than Crisco. So does everybody. Not 60% less. Bullshit. Bullshit? Take a look at these numbers which compare Crisco's old-fashioned Ethernet copper solution to a modern G-Pon fiber solution for my office building. It says here that Crisco costs $1 million but G-Pon $400,000. Darn it. This is not good. Not good for parasites who overcharge for 20-year-old technology the price of which should go down over time not up. But great for customers like me and it gets even better. Because G-Pon requires far less power than stacked Ethernet switches which are going the way of the dinosaur. Power is nothing to write home about. Everyone consumes less energy than Crisco. Not 80% less. Bullshit. Bullshit? Your equipment draws 8 watts per port. Pond draws 2. Wait, that is 4, no 5, no 6 watts times 2000 is. And if that is not enough, I would like to point out that your equipment requires heavy air conditioning and communication closets. g -Pond does not use communication closets. Well... Crisco is not ready yet to come out of the closet. Without communication closets and with fiber instead of copper cabling, g -Pond solutions require 90% less space. Bullshit. Bullshit? Let me show you something, Slick. Here is my com room wired up for 2,000 users with Crisco and Cat6 copper cable. It takes 18 racks of space. Look at it with g -Pond and fiber. I will only need one rack and that will support over 8,000 users. Yeah, well, I bet those g -Pon manufacturers do not offer not so smart net. You mean the Crisco maintenance program, that over four years I spent what it originally cost me to purchase the system, and then in the fifth year Crisco discontinues the products I bought? Hold that thought, Lassie, I need to call a CCYA to bail me out. Crap, my phone battery died, can I use your Crisco voice over IP phone? That happens when too many people try to use the Crisco network at the same time. Don't worry, when I switch them all over to GPON everyone will have committed information rates and true QoS. I don't know what that means but I don't like the sound of it. Can you text my CCYA to call us? Slick, I would prefer to repeatedly stab myself in the eye with a sharp pencil than talk to you any longer. But I am texting your CCYA because I am curious to hear what load of bull he has about GPON. Hello, Billy. Thanks for calling. I am here with... Elena. I was just going to say that. Elena. And she wants to replace us with G-Pon. Can you give me top three ways I can scare the bejesus out of her if she goes with Pon? Okay, yep. Yep. Ooh, I like that one. Slick, you gas bag. You have 90 seconds until I throw you out of my office and crease you out of my life for good. Okay, goes like this. First, g -Pon is a shared medium and that presents a security risk. Slick, your Ethernet solution is also a shared medium. No, it's not. Yes, you loser it is. VLANs share the same medium, don't they? And if g -Pon was so insecure, why do intelligence agencies and the military use it for classified networks? Never mind those pesky facts. What I meant to say is g -Pon broadcasts all of its endpoints which is insecure. Slick, you uninformed dolt. g -Pon sends its data point-to-point -point by time slots, via AES-128 encryption. Never mind all that gobbledygook. The main gotcha is g -Pon has a single path from end user to the switch, which is called the BLT or something or other. Slick, I am not sure which is lower, the amount of active brain cells in your head or time remaining before I send you packing. Single pathways are for residential pawn. 
Enterprise Pawn Networks use redundant paths from end users to the head switches, called OLTs. Whatever. Just keep in mind that fiber is fragile and difficult to work with. Your ignorance seems to know no limits. Indoor fiber is stronger than copper, so if I were to strangle you with it, your neck would snap like a twig. And all without signal loss we are done now. Goodbye.